each week um, we have an assignment from, uh, from Carl uh, that is sent to us electronically. And the process really begins with opening those files. There's usually a, um, a piece of sheet music or two um, that we, we take a look at. And then there is a recording that Carl has done uh, of himself playing uh, the organ and then singing along. The process is literally listening to that and then really tuning, tuning up, doing your vocal exercises to get your vocal cords in, in shape. We then record ourselves singing. Jesus shall reign with a song that is My name is Carl Robson. I'm the director of music here at St. John's, and this is my partner. My name is Adam Detzner. I'm director of music at Christ Episcopal Church in Columbia, Maryland. It was just the middle of one week that I, I remember we shut down, and it was supposed to be for 14 days. And so I sent an email to the choir, you know, well, we're canceled for the next two weeks. And I wasn't even thinking in terms of what we would be doing online musically. It just seemed like we'd have a couple Sundays, you know, with probably no vocal music. I remember Sari saying, you know, could we sing like all glory, laud, and honor for Palm Sunday? And I remember writing a really tentative email to the choir, like, well, you know, let's try this and record on your phones and here are the instructions and send in if you want. No guarantee this will actually come together, but you know, if it, I, I won't put anything out that will embarrass you, I think was what I said. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we really haven't used this time to retreat back from what we were offering to the church. Uh, we've all in our own ways uh, grown new skills or new ways of doing things or new computer abilities or uh, the we've grown, you know, the bravery to record your own voice on a phone, not around anyone else and listen to that and think, okay, that's great. And I'm going to send it in and I'm going to trust that this is all going to blend together through the wonders of uh, technology. I think that's a very vulnerable position to be in that we did not have when choir was in person. It, it definitely brings out uh, a high level of faith that this will ultimately <laughs> um, sound good and we hope people think it does. Right. It's been interesting not to have the the physical support of yes. the of the choir around us yes. as we're singing, um, and now we're comfortable enough singing. Each of us singing mm -hmm. separately. Oh yes. That we're we're we know where we are not perfect, and we're comfortable saying to each other. Hon, you might want to do that again. It was a little <laughs> flat. <laughs> Carl and Adam talked to us about using the time when we were forced to stay at home as an opportunity. Yes. And one of those opportunities was to have us have voice lessons. Mm -hmm. So on Tuesday evenings, we have a 30-minute voice lesson. And then Thursday nights, we're doing music theory. We'll be better musicians when we all get back yes. together in person. It's been fantastic. Mm -hmm.